Oh, and Kendrick you just dissed Drake and J. Cole on the new future project. Nigga, I was here for that. That nigga MJ brought a llama to the studio and recorded the thriller album. Is that real? Is that a real thing that happened? Let's tap in, let's tap in, let's tap in. Let's see what the fuck the original song was supposed to be. Cause I'm actually like curious. I did not know there was a, a different song. I've heard this before. You know what's crazy? It, it, it all makes sense now. I do remember this nigga making a reference for Drake on For All The Dogs, and it makes sense that that would be his sound. Let's compare this to Grippy, though. Nick I put it front row to Nick Gang. Now she in my phone with a nickname. It's, 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 mm. Grippy. Yeah. She like my kick game. And when you meet on kick game, I put it front row to Nick Gang. Now she in my phone with a nickname. It's, 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 mm. Grippy. Like, dude, what? Grippy. Grippy, I call her that cause it's grippy. She thinking that if she a hippie, and she thinking the lips she gon' lick me. And she sending a flip when she hit me. With a kissy emoji, she miss me. When she see me, she says she gon' strip me. She gon' chew on his stick like it's Wrigley's. Mm. Yeah. Believe it or not, like Ripley's. She said she was gay until I slayed. Now she's strictly diggly. As soon as she pays, I'm on the way. What the fuck did this nigga just wait, wait, wait. run that back, run that back? She said she was gay until I slayed. Now she's strictly diggly. As soon as she pays, I'm on the way. And I'll be showing her quickly. I'm doing 150. That's low key homophobic, right? I wouldn't even say that. That's just a bad bar. <laughs> like, I'm trying to see how that glove gonna fit me. Like, I wanna feel like I'm touching your kidneys. Like, I'm trying to see how that glove gonna fit me. Like, I wanna feel like I'm touching your kidneys. Like, bitch, I'm gonna send all your kids to Disney. I'm gonna pay a little extra, make sure they meet Mickey. She what? She what? She a what? She what? She what? She a what? She a what? She a grippy. And it just goes back to the original song. Why is the melody just alternating between the same two notes? Do you not remember when XXX and Tashion popped up on the scene? Like, what the fuck are we talking about? We focused on the real issue of the song. Why the fuck is this nigga talking about some, it's, it's, grippy? Not with the fucking two alternating notes on the goddamn beat. Shut the fuck up. It's the effect of like, there's one aspect of the track that's so ass that you start trying to nitpick the rest when ultimately it doesn't matter. It's the main thing that's making the track ass that makes you want to nitpick the rest of the shit. The beat ain't even that bad. Let's be for real. Grippy is feature of the year. I don't care. Cole did his thing for real. You're tripping. You're definitely trolling me. Regardless, why the fuck is he saying this shit? It's, it's grippy. I ain't gonna lie. It is kind of catchy, but for all the wrong reasons. Now, while Cole is, you know, doing whatever it is he's doing on this Cash Cobain beat, I've heard this, like, almost, almost in its entirety. But I just have to go through the lyrics just to make sure I'm not tripping. First of all, who the fuck is Snow Day? I would hate to be Snow Day. This would be, like, the height of my popularity. Oh, I would, did you make Cash Crabs? That's not the point. At least the song was good. Canadian comedian, meme rapper. This was a ter- If that's the case, this was a terrible time to drop this. After Drake is fresh off of this beef. Like, what? I'm not putting this on the speakers. The ad libs are killing me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, those ad libs are so dope, bro. What's it called? It's definitely not anything serious. It's like a troll thing. This gives me the same vibe as uh making my way downtown with your bitch. She finna make me a sandwich or whatever that shit was. I get it. But it's like, I feel like this would have been better received way better if Drake was not on it. Walk on the Lila, no, I'm late cause there's better traffic. I just showed my dog your Grammy, said he knows a man I slapped it. I'm so cheesed. Your madam was a night's arcade. I'm bent low key. 
Walk on Delilah, double date me if you like me. Brought my chronome for your bestie. Sorry, he's wearing a shiesty, he's not be. It's just too smoky in these streets. No, yeah. Drake is actually on this song. I, I'm pretty sure it was on his story. 37 year old man, by the way. Look, 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 look. All I'm saying is, I don't care how old the nigga is. You can still have jokes at 37 and, you know, have fun with your shit. Because him and Kendrick are the same age, right? And look, Kendrick wrapped his ass off in them beefs, but that nigga had jokes. Like, come on, bro. What is it? The brains? Don't speak on the family, Crody. That nigga got jokes. Let's not get it twisted. But given the circumstances, this is just like, this is a terrible time to make this joke. I get more bands kissed than your pops. Don't piss me off. <laughs> what kind of fucking oh, flex is that? If you're trying to hit a look on the TDRBC, Scotia Bank, RBC, CIBC, PC Financial, holla at me. What? <laughs> This is insane. And oh, if you're trying to hit a look on the TDRBC, Scotia Bank, RBC, CIBC, PC Financial, holla at me. Mind you, don't be moving tough, cause I will call your Scarborough bluff like Tarzan. I am always on the chain. Always on the chain. I'm on I can't lie. That was bar. That was the only bar in this fucking whole song. Today, but don't walk in the biker's lane or you're gonna catch a death us to the brain. I can't explain. Oh, walk on Sabrina. What's she like in Mississauga? Who the fuck is Sabrina? Stay at home with mama, so can you bless me with a dollar? Don't be rude. Square one door shine as bright as you. I swear it's I swear it's true. Did the nigga just give up on like the end of the song properly? What the fuck was that? Oh man. I, I I just don't know, man. I feel like Kendrick's just proving his point at this point. It really is just big him. Drake might actually be going through a midlife crisis, like no joke. Honestly, move the Raptors to Mexico. Toronto don't deserve them. I ain't gonna say Toronto is a bad place. It's just Drake. I don't even think the accent is that bad. If anything, it's just funny to me. You're cheesing me, fam. Don't make me up the machines. Are you fucking blame dog? Don't make me get the chrome them to gurk gurk you. <laughs> Fam, I could go for a burger. I'm marved. You like burger? I don't know what's going on with uh, the big one and the, the other two. I can't even call it the big three anymore. Truth be told, all of them may be going through a midlife crisis, but Kendrick's the only one that's doing it tastefully. That nigga's just crashing out in the right way. <laughs> Baltimore slang is better than Toronto. Okay, Baltimore slang doesn't even exist like that. Like the U-Rats, U-Rats, the schnau schnau. That's just a nigga like over exaggerating the accent, actually. Jiggle the get jiggle the on the fuck my I still can't get over that goddamn sped up bar. What was it, the damn? And oh, if you're trying to hit a look on the TDRBC, Scotia Bank, RBC, CIBC, PC Financial. You know what? I'll give him this. I am impressed that he was able to fit that into the fucking song without like fucking up. Cause how the fuck did you not fuck that up? I like this song. Sounds cool. Thank you, Diarrhea Gaming. Even the trash beat submission bops harder than this. We're not gonna make the comparison. Can we all agree that Drake technically doesn't have any classics since he most likely didn't even write most of his music? I hate to break it to you, and this is the sad truth, but that's almost like saying we can't say Michael Jackson doesn't have any classics. Cause Michael Jackson doesn't write a lot of his songs. Like a lot. MJ got aura though, we fuck with that. Look man, I'm just telling you the facts, bro. That's where Drake fucked up. The pop industry don't give a fuck about Ghostwriters like that, but it's a whole different story when you rapping. Okay. <laughs> 